Hello there, welcome back to Waverley Zoo. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you're well. And today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, it's not going to be involving an animal at all. Um, it's going to be involving a building or several buildings. Um, so I had an idea, I wanted to put in a research center into the zoo. Um, being a you know a modern zoo, I wanted to have um, a very modern looking research facility where there'd be um, scientists working on I don't know um, sort of animal welfare and and medicines and things like that. You know, better ways of, of looking after animals, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, ju I just wanted to do something a bit different, anyway. A bit sort of modern, a bit futuristic-y looking, quite minimalist. Um, so that's my plan. Now, um, this is obviously I've, you can see I've started here. So I wanted to do a round building. I didn't want to just do something boring and square. I wanted to test out my skills at doing round stuff. Um, so this is using the technique of um, rotating. So you 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 create a piece and then you mirror it and then you rotate it around. Um, and this. At the moment, I've 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 done all of this separately. So I, I you know I created one of these beams here, and I copied it there, and then I rotated it 90 degrees, and then I copied it again and then again to create these um, lots sort of four lots of three. I then did the same with the windows in the middle, and then the wood at the top here, and the bits around here at the top. You know, so it's been quite a few different processes to get this far already. Um, but I, I'm, I'm quite liking the look of it so far. I'm liking the the shape. It looks a bit like a rocket, I guess. Um, it's sort of the look I'm going for. Obviously, I'm going to fill in these gaps here. So all the mess in the middle, you're not going to get to see. So I'm not doing an interior. It's all going to be just the outside. Um, doesn't make a huge a lot of sense, really. I mean, like these wooden bits on the top. I don't know what they do. I don't know what purpose they serve, but I kind of like the look of them so far. I'm going to do something else with them. Um, don't know what, but I'm, I'm just making this up as I go along and I'll see what I end up with. I, I am very happy with how these windows in the middle here turned out. So these are all individual uh, windows that I had to put on and get at the right angle. And uh, when you turn to night time, they look pretty cool. Um, they, you know, they shine up nice and bright. So yeah, I really, really like the look of that. It's, um, it is a very modern sort of look to the building so far. So yeah, I'm very happy with how it's coming along. Uh, now you realise I'm not building inside Waverley Zoo. This is a blank canvas. And the reason I'm doing that is simply because Waverley Zoo is getting very hard for my computer to run without lag. Um, so I'm doing a bit of building work outside and then once the building is ready uh, I will transport it into the zoo and put it in place and then do the detailing inside the zoo um, but uh, I, I am this, this I'm probably getting near the end of Waverley Zoo at the moment purely because my computer can't run it anymore uh, I am hoping to upgrade my computer uh, that is the plan uh, however, that's not something that I'm I'm not very savvy uh, with computers, so I'm actually going to be getting my brother to help me with that, um, which is a little bit awkward at the moment because of COVID, the COVID situation. I'm not actually living at home at the moment. Um, you know, I won't go into more detail, but basically, uh, my computer. Whenever my computer goes wrong, my brother comes over and sorts it out for me, and that's just not very doable at the moment. Um, so, but but there we go. That's uh, that's my plan is to get um, a better processor for my computer, maybe more RAM. Um, yeah, so that I can start getting back into these zoos because uh, if you follow any of my other series. Um, Tiny Zoo and Green Valley Zoo, they are all getting to the stage now where I am struggling to run them on my computer. So yes, so there we go. So that is the reason why I'm building outside in this blank canvas. So there we go. Let's crack on. I will now disappear and do a bit more building and uh, I will be right back. Okay, I've, uh, I've made quite uh, a jump forward here. Uh, so as you can see, I've filled in the gaps at the side. So I've used this uh, this darker stone 
uh, the East Asia stone support beams here. Um, I kind of liked the, the darker stone against the light stone. I wanted these segments to stand out. So what I did, I, I obviously I just copied and pasted the main structure around um, and then just played around with the bottom here to suit you know to suit my needs so two of the sides have got the uh, basic windows there at the bottom this is your main entrance door here and then this one here is a fire exit door and then up above you've just got some basic windows in here i i, I liked the red color i wanted a bit of color on the building even though it's um you know it's, it's a fairly plain looking thing overall i wanted some some color so I went with red then I also put these beams down the sides here which I thought looked kind of cool so it continues the theme of these beams of these black beams that I put on the white originally as well uh, from a design point of view I thought that looked pretty good <clears throat> um, so yeah so pretty straightforward really uh, I've also just filled in the roof here and also just connected these beams here uh, with some of this uh, the metal rods which looks kind of cool so that's probably all I'm going to do really for uh, that roof it, again I don't know what this is but I just kind of like the look of it um, a lot of modern buildings they have structures and things on they don't always make sense it's just architects get bored basically and they you know they want their building to stand out so they they do random stuff with it um, why not <laughs> you know that's the fun of playing games like this I can be a bit random and get away with it um, but you know as a, as a scientific research center I, I think this this gives out that vibe of being a sort of a sciencey place uh, the shape of it and the fact that it's sort of full of windows it looks a bit officey doesn't it that's my hope anyway um, and I did make sure it was all nicely colored for night time now as well so I changed the color of these windows down the side to be red and then I've made these other ones a nice orange and I think uh, I think that works really nicely I love these red windows here um, they just work so nicely I can't remember which windows they are uh, new world windows yeah so you can you can change the color of them uh, which is fantastic uh, so yeah so there we go so uh, th it's, it's it's a few different buildings at the moment all of this so I'll be saving it as a blueprint to uh, move into the zoo um, but you know it's it's there it's um, yeah it, it's uh, it's basically there so my plan is to build a sort of a scientific complex with this inside uh, Waverley Zoo when I get there so I'll probably have three of these buildings in a triangle uh, and then I'll be decorating all around them and doing something um, some sort of a I don't know some sort of a sort of a park around them maybe um, not too sure yet I'll wait until I get it in place to make my mind up for that uh, so let's see what I get up to next I might move them in um, I might do a bit more work with them out here first um, but uh, let me go away and do a bit more work first and then here we go so this is roughly what I had in mind so obviously I've duplicated the blueprint three times um, just turn them slightly so the doors are all facing slightly different directions and then I, th I wanted to really really emphasize the whole sort of sciencey minimalist look so I've, I've raised them up on these platforms um, so yeah I think they look pretty cool actually so obviously I've sort of got to the stage now where I need to move it into the park so my, my my thinking is that um i'll do a water feature in the middle here there'll be some seating sort of around here so it's sort of like a, a little lunch area where the, the workers can come out and sit down and then I'll, I'll also try and put benches around some of these outside areas here uh, so the idea is that these steps are climbable although i might need to put a second layer of steps in here um to uh, to let people walk up because they are quite deep steps actually now that I look at it uh, but that's fine I can uh, I can put in an extra step so that people could actually get up and down without needing hiking boots and climbing gear um, yeah um, <clears throat> so yeah that's that's the idea so I know where it's going to go in the zoo so the, the, you're going to end up with a sort of a car park area I think out here maybe some flower beds uh, and then around the outside some sort of parkland I think um, but I can't really 
explain that until it's in the zoo. Uh, so that's what I need to do next. Um, I think I've, yeah, at the moment it's still uh, many things. So I need to save this as one big blueprint and get it moved into the zoo now. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll go away and do that and then I'll be able to show you exactly where it's going within Waverly Zoo. So I'll be right back. Right back in Waverly Zoo. So this is where our research centre is going to go. So this is the area uh, near our massive greenhouse here where we have um, a backstage entrance coming up here to what I always said was going to be some sort of a car park area here and I probably did mention that I was going to be doing some sort of building around it well here we go this is it so as you can see I've put it in place I've extended the pathway up to here uh, I did have to put in some extra steps around here as well uh, which I've then done sort of extra ones of around the outside as well so that people could come and go um, put some of these tree planters in again you know minimalist but a bit greenery is always good for people and then I just um, put our water feature in the middle here and I've just changed this middle section to bricks I thought that was looked much better like that it really makes it stand out um, and, and then just a basic water feature I just literally just sunk the ground and put some water in and some fountains uh, and a few lights as well um, and then along here I've managed to get some benches down uh, which again you do with the technique of uh, just there's some path basically just under here uh, as you can see so I've just managed to get some nice path that's hidden underground there so if you look closely obviously you can see that the benches are sunk into the ground a little bit but that's fine I can get away with that um, so yeah so that's that's how we are looking so in the uh, context of the whole zoo that's where they are they they're pretty big they stand out don't they um, but yeah that's uh, oh, it's getting quite big there this zoo you can see why my computer is struggling it isn't too bad actually at the moment this is it's doing okay in here uh, but it's just getting to that stage now where it's a bit awkward to build sometimes um, so yeah there we go it's uh, it's not the end of the world right so what I'm going to do obviously I'm going to have this as a car park I need to do this backstage area here as well um, I want some sort of wall I think coming all the way around the outside probably some flower beds in here some sort of sign on one side or the other and then around the outside I will probably do some sort of a, a pond lake stream type thing around here and then I will put the guest path uh, which obviously I've already started here will go in a big loop I think all the way around it and then join back in here somewhere um, which will open up um, obviously lots of space for me to potentially expand outwards in the future um, but yeah there we go so that's where we are up to so I will go away again now and get on with some more building and I'll be right back all right just a small update here really um, not progressed too much actually this time um, but I have put in some flower beds here I think they look pretty cool uh, so I decided to go with the brick uh, wall around the outside I wanted that because it mirrors the brick work in the middle here um, so I did just go all the way around the outside here with walls uh, I had a bit of an issue because when you attach walls to uh, these segments here sometimes they the graphics can kind of uh, fight with each other to, to, to work out which ones on show so some of these walls I had to build separately and just uh, you know separate them from the main building and and move them around just a little bit so the graphics weren't glitching too much um, so yeah kind of annoying but um, it's, it wasn't too bad uh, just very time consuming uh, but there, look you see I haven't done them all because this this is what happens you see so this wall here is attached to these panels here and that's what happens they're both getting to the same point and and the computer doesn't know which one to show and so you end up with all this annoying graphical glitching so I'll have to come along and do this wall uh, just separate it off as a separate building and then just move it out just a few pixels so that the uh, the white panels don't show through so yeah very annoying I've also just got to redo the grass because there's a lot of grass showing through around this bottom area here 
Uh, as you can see, I have put more benches and bins along this bottom section. Um, they are quite sunk into the ground again. The, the bins look a bit silly actually, but um, again, that's just because the path is underneath and that is as as high as I can get the path without it showing because unfortunately when you do a raised path it always has a curb on it and so you have to actually have you have to sink it down a lot further than you would like to uh, just to hide the curb on uh, on the outside of the pathway so yeah very annoying but um, there's not a lot we can do about it uh, so that was the wall and then at the front here I just had these big gaps and I just thought let's just do some giant flower beds here and I think they worked out really nicely actually so obviously these will just be filled up um, I'm, I'm going to make these quite simple, probably just two or three different types of shrub and um, just filling the whole thing. Uh, don't, you know, it wouldn't be a fancy flower bed, that would be too much maintenance. Uh, so just some, some nice colourful shrubs I think in these. Uh, and then obviously the car park. I also realised that I need to do a disabled access slope up here somehow. Um, <clears throat> So I will look into getting that done as well. Uh, and I've still got all of this area here to do and the lake and everything as well. So what I think I'm going to do is just one more massive load. Just try and get everything done and come back to you once it's finished and show you around. So uh, bear with me and I'll be right back. Um, I'm, I've, I've done a load but um, I've still got more to do. So let me just give you a brief update here. So the car park is is pretty simple so I've, I've just extended the wall around here uh, obviously put some lines in some lights um, I went with um, with this um, Japanese maple tree actually in uh, in the borders here I thought this orange looked really nice against all the, the sort of the clinical whiteness that I've got in here uh, and then I just dotted a few other bits around I've got the um, a yellow ippy tree and uh, whatever this green one is, I can't remember. No, that's not the green one. Which was the green one? A custard apple tree. So these are all trees, basically, that I've used in these two borders, as well as obviously these upright cypress uh, trees here. Um, so I just sunk them all in because I just thought they looked better and a bit different than all the different shrubs that I've used elsewhere. Um, so yeah, kind of kind of like that. I think that uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I've done a, a, a very basic sign. I'm not good with signs, but let's be honest, this sort of thing it's not going to have a really fancy sign. It's going to have something exactly like this. I, I have seen signs that look precisely like this with these uh, these sort of pebble walls uh, and then just some basic lettering. Uh, the Waverley Research Centre. I mean, it it says it's exactly what it is. So. Um, there we go, that's nice and simple. Uh, I've got a few little lights around as well, so if you put it to night time. Things are just lit up a little bit, the, the lights are a little bit green as well. Um, I think the whole area looks pretty nice at night, I think uh, I think it looks pretty cool actually. And uh, lights down in the, uh, the waterfall here as well, just reflecting on the water there, looks pretty nice. So yeah, so... I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along actually. Um, so what I have also done is just put in this water around the outside. So let me just raise up a bit. So it's just a very really simple shallow bit of water. Nice and natural looking around here. Dotted some of these large beech trees I think these ones are. Yeah, the big beech trees around as well. Um, so this, this pathway will snake around the outside of these trees here and then join back in here. I uh, just didn't want to do that until I've done this. So this is my last sort of area here just to tidy up this backstage road here uh, and then get that path in. Um, and uh, just you know little details here and there. I still haven't done the disabled access ramps yet. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along actually. It's it's a bit different and it's, it's certainly not the best thing I've ever built. Uh, it's not even the best thing I've built in this zoo but it's, um, it's different. I'm trying new things and hopefully it's something that you haven't seen before. Uh, but anyway let me just go away and get it finished uh, and then we can discuss the merits of my work at the end. Oh, we are finished. So let me rise up above the trees and here we have our research complex. So as you can see I have finished off this area just down here so 
Again, very simple, very similar to the other ones. Um, just a simple concrete structure uh, with the road going down underground and some flower beds around the top here with some simple trees and shrubbery. A few shrubs and bits of bracken are sort of leaked out over the sides as well. Um, so yeah, nothing, uh, nothing too fancy there. Um, put the path in, so the path, as you can see, just kind of loops all the way around the water there. Dotted a few other trees, and I've really kept this quite basic. Um, I didn't want to fill this up with sort of shrubs and rocks, and I didn't want the water to be full of um, reeds and stuff like that, uh, because this is meant to be a very artificial natural area, if that makes sense. So this probably wasn't here originally it's not part of a, an actual river complex or anything so i kind of feel like this would have been dug out at the same time as this was built sort of as part of the complex um, that's my my thinking behind it and um yeah that's what i'm sticking with <laughs> yeah yeah i like it i like it i like it a lot i think it's uh i think it looks really nice um I think it'll look better once there's more going on outside here as well. Um, so not much changed in here. I just put a few cars in the car park. Um, and I think that was about it. Oh yes, and I put some ramps in as well. I put the disabled ramps in here. And then I kind of dotted them around the outside as well. Um, just so that um, the wheelchairs can actually get up and down to all the different le levels. Um, I think I should, oh, I forgot to put one over this side actually, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, they, they, there's enough ramps here that they could come here, and then if they wanted to sit specifically over here, they would just have to go a slightly longer route. Um, you know, it's not nice, but unfortunately, it's, it's quite realistic. Wheelchair users are often forced to uh, travel a lot further than non wheelchair users in real life. Um, that is just how it is, unfortunately. Um, so there we go. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Actually, it is a bit different, and I appreciate that it's you know it doesn't involve an animal. Um, I did have an idea to involve an animal in this, and I did actually I, I did experiment with making this area here into an, a, a habitat, and I put an entrance here, and I put uh, a null barrier going all the way around the outside here. But every animal that I tried to actually put in here could escape, which was really annoying. Uh, they could hop over this fence here, which is odd because in other areas they couldn't. So they couldn't jump over this bit here, but then they could jump over a bit over here. So I really don't know what was going on there. I tried doing it with a barrier going all the way around as well, and it just didn't look good. Um, so I got rid of that. Uh, it's a shame because I would I, I, I'd have quite like to have some animals walking around in here. I was going to do um, maybe some warthogs. Um, I don't know what else. Um, maybe some anteaters or something like that. But in the end, I just thought, no, let's just keep it as a as a wild area. Um, you know, these the people that work in here, you know, office workers, they can come out and sit here. Uh, and just relax looking over this uh, this sort of calm water and obviously looking at whatever I build over the other side here as well um, so yeah so I'm happy just leaving it as a nice natural area so there we go so that is our research complex you can see it's actually one of the largest areas that I've done so far in the zoo and there is an overview of the zoo I think it's coming along very nicely I mean if I manage to get my computer upgraded and I can continue building um, it's going to be quite an epic zoo because I, I do want to keep going all up here right up to this area here where there's going to be a waterfall and I'd like to fill up the entire map if I can um, whether or not I can keep coming up with good ideas for that I don't know but I'll do my best uh, at some point you'll probably get sick of it and uh, and stop watching my videos but I'll keep building anyway because I'm enjoying it uh, I feel like I should probably do something over here this this is one of the oldest paths that I, I built and I've never got round to to coming over here and uh, and and doing it properly because uh, originally this this concrete path was going to be the main pathway so so all of this in the middle here isn't really the main path so this one was going to be sort of the main loop so that would come all the way around here somehow um, I don't think 
it goes over here does it oh see my computer's lagging again yes it goes up to the middle here and then it stops here doesn't it or does it actually yeah it comes over here doesn't it this concrete path so actually yes it could continue this way as well because this is all accessible i believe yes it is because you've got the administration building in here uh, and then you've got backstage here for the penguins so yeah so this uh, this this path will probably continue over this side as well so eventually i'd like that path to be the big loop path that comes all the way around here uh, and then linking back up to there and then all of this is sort of offshoots from it um, but we shall see uh, it's a it's a long-term thing i've been doing this zoo for quite a while now uh, in fact i think as i record this episode i think i've only actually published four or five videos so this i believe is episode 18 so while i record this um i don't think i think the penguins was actually the last one that i released so um there's an awful lot that's happened since then as you can see uh, and there's an awful lot more to come hopefully we shall see anyway i'm going to stop waffling on and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this episode apologies for the lack of animals but i hope you at least like what i've done and uh, you know something a bit different wasn't it um great so let's leave it there so thank you very much for watching uh, and hopefully i will see you in the next one or over on some of my other uh, videos uh, until then take care and bye for now